my clientele consists of deeper skin tones um so i'm not gonna have products that can't be used on them at all hey everybody welcome back to my channel my name is shakia if you are new here i want to share what i have on my back bar i do want to mention that i usually have more stuff on there some stuff is missing but i plan on making an updated video already because you know changes are coming so um if you haven't watched my previous videos then definitely make sure you go watch them but um yeah i want to share what's on my back bar and i also want to mention that you don't have to have like a super large back bar especially when you're carrying three different lines like I am. Um, I'm not going to have every product, one, because I'm not going to like every product from every line, and two, you will notice like some of the products do the same thing as another product from that line. So it's like it doesn't make sense to have multiple cleansers or whatever from different lines that serve the same purpose so yeah if you need tips on building your back bar j definitely let me know and i can make a video on that but let's go ahead and get started on this video <sighs> so my cart is a mess because i just got done with clients but we're going to make it work. Hopefully I don't have to do this in parts. But I do have a cart for my back bar. You probably can't see all of it. But I'll insert like a picture of the cart that I have. I got mine. I actually have two carts. Um, but I have mine from... Not Marshalls. What is that store? Michaels. My cart is from Michaels. But you can always find them on uh, at a ikea or even marshall's and ross be having carts too so i'm still going to do like a back bar product empties video so definitely stay tuned for that i actually okay i have time uh... all right so and this is going to be in no particular order it's just going to be first row second row um yeah first and second row of part products so the first product i grabbed was the gentle facial wash definitely love this um especially when recommending product to um clients oh and this is from glamid plus with the gentle facial wash it's a glycolic cleanser helps to brighten jumpstart the exfoliation process and all of that then I have the Glymed Oxygen Deep Pore Cleanser. Love this cleanser, especially when you're about to do extractions or if someone has breakouts and they just want like a deep clean type of thing. You can mix this with different masks. And yeah, I just, I really use this a lot. So the Oxygen Deep Pore Cleanser is a must for me. And then I have the Image Ageless Total Facial Cleanser. Again, another glycolic cleanser. Um, it's nice. Uh, yeah, it's nice. Gets the job done. And then I have the Image Clear Cell, Clear Cell Salicylic Gel Cleanser. Another cleanser that I really like, especially when I have someone with oily skin or that they have acne. Love, love, love this cleanser. Cucumber Hydration Toner. I thought by buying like the huge bottle like this for the longest, I was using the retail version of this toner forever and it did not make any sense because i would constantly go through this i love the cucumber hydration toner um i use it on every client of course unless it, there's an allergy or something but i like to use it on like every client whether it be toning or removing excess product whatever it may be i really love this cleanser 
why did I keep saying cleanser? I really love this toner and it definitely is a um, good retail item at Glow Treatment Studio. And then next I have the Retinol 2% Exfoliating Scrub Mask. I really love this scrub. I really do. Um, I don't really use it as a mask in my treatment room. I use it just as a scrub usually. Um, just in case someone needs a little bit more exfoliation during the treatment before I move on to something else. Or even if I'm just going to use this as the exfoliating part of the treatment. I really love this scrub slash mask. I also love it for myself because I have texture on my nose. Like, it wouldn't seem like it, but I notice it. So I have used this scrub um, at, as like an at-home facial and it really helped with the texture that was on my nose. I love, love, love this scrub. Love it. And I feel like I talked about this in a different video before talking about how much I love it. I really do. And then I have the um, Glycolic Cleanser by Skin Script. I actually do really like this. I feel like it does a really good job, the Glycolic Cleanser from uh, Skin Script. Okay. All right, this is a mess, but I just got finished with clients, so it is kind of jumbled. Um, so next I have the Vital C Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Um, for the most part, I just really wanted to try this out. Um, you can't go wrong with a creamy cleanser, but I do like this, um, cleanser. And then I have the Pomegranate Antioxidant Cleanser. It's great having creamy cleansers, especially when someone comes in and their skin is extra dry or if I need to um, remove any makeup. Then the Ormetic Balancing Facial Cleanser. You already know I really love this cleanser. Love, love, love this cleanser. I can't say enough about it. I love this cleanser. I actually feel like I haven't been grabbing this lately, but I I really love this. I love this cleanser so much that I bought it in the back bar size for myself. But this is just a great everyday cleanser. It's not gonna strip the skin or anything. And next I have the Enzymes by Skin Script. And again, I need to order more. Uh, let's see missing one of my favorites but i have the cherry enzyme the gi the ginger enzyme i was just trying the ginger enzyme out because it was like on promotion or something like that um it's kind of like really sticky so i don't like that about it but if you're just trying to exfoliate then i guess it's cool um the pomegranate enzyme and then the blueberry enzyme i love skin script for their enzymes um and they have like an enzyme for every skin type. Um, the only enzymes from them that I do not get are the ones that are not safe for um, people of color, people of deeper skin tones because my clientele is, my clientele consists of deeper skin tones. Um, so I'm not gonna have products that can't be used on them at all. And now, for some serums, I have the Vitamin C Green Tea Serum and the Ageless Skin Hydrating Serum. Um, I definitely mix these two together. I love the Hydrating Skin Serum. It smells good. It's a hyaluronic acid. The Vitamin C Green Tea Serum is also a good serum. It's just I don't care for the smell and I don't want to have to put my clients through the smell of it either. But So I just mix them together. Um, and then I have the peptide eye serum for the clients that have the dark under eye circles. And I do have some eye creams for, um, well, from Glymed Plus. So I have the CBD eye cream, part of my CBD facial, and then the Cell Science Eye Calm. Um, just options because not everybody likes to use CBD products. So... Gotta keep the options. 
Uh, this serum is no longer available at Glymed, so we're going to move on from that. Um, and then I have the Oxygen Treatment Cream by Glymed Plus, which is good, um, especially for those with acne. Um, yeah, those are mostly who I use this on and I actually like to use this underneath of another moisturizer because this even though it's a cream it doesn't really do much to boost the hydration and moisture in my opinion especially when you if a client comes in and they have acne or they feel like they have acne and they've been stripping their skin it's not going to do much for balancing um, the hydration and moisture levels in their skin. So, and I have the CBD B3 Age Delay Facial Dew. I really love this. I still have quite a bit of this left. CBD is a great antioxidant um, in skincare. But again, this is a product that I use in my CBD facials. And I have the Vital C Hydrating Facial Mist. Don't really care for this product, but if I really need to remove something off somebody's skin or something, um, something extra off their skin then i'll like spray this on an sd wipe or something and try to remove it with this um just so i can use it up and be done with it but definitely not really a fan of the vital c hydrating facial mist then i have the intense peptide skin recovery complex this is like out now it's done with now um but Another good um, moisturizer, I feel like, especially when someone really needs an extra boost during the treatment. And then the Ultra Hydro Gel by Glamid Plus. Really love that for oily skin clients, those with acne, because it's not too thick um, and they won't be feeling greasy. And then I have the Diamond Bright Skin Lightener. And if you've seen a previous video, you know how I feel about this. Love this. And then I have the Glymed Plus AHA Accelerator with BioCell. Um, I don't really use this much in treatment. Maybe during my glow infusions sometimes. But not really. But um, yeah, it's nice to mix in with other products just to boost um, the exfoliation. Then I have the Ormetic Balancing Lip Enhancement Complex. Love this lip balm. And after, at the end of my skincare treatments, I do put some on my client's lips. And this has also, um, doing that has helped me actually bring this product in and sell this product, well, retail this product, because once they feel this on their lips, they're hooked. Uh, the sheer, the, the sheer protection SPF 30 the words came off but this is by skin Scrib. um I like this SPF for those with acne those who have said certain SPFs break them out um, I definitely like using this on them and I have the CBD B3 facial mist again part of my CBD facial as well as if I feel like a client could use that um, facial mist, which this is great for everybody. It has CBD, B3, which is the niacinamide, and hydrates, helps with pigmentation, helps with acne. Definitely get this CBD facial mist. And I'll definitely leave, and if you're not an esthetician and you're wanting some of these products, I'll definitely leave the links down below for you to purchase these products all right so i also have the glymed plus skin recovery mist love this for everybody um all skin types um even with setting makeup but i really love this skin recovery mist before i came across the cbd b3 facial mist i was all about the skin recovery mist but both are great and here i have this script here I, here I have the Skin Astringent number no. 5. Um, I really love this product. I do not retail it in studio, um, but they can order it online if they want to. The only reason why I don't retail this to my clients is because some people just go overboard when it comes to skin astringents, and I don't want them to compromise their barrier, strip their barrier by doing the most. And so I use this in studio. Um, just 
sometimes to help the grease, sometimes before a peel, um, just a lot after extractions using the skin astringent. I really love this product. I also have a backup in my drawer back there um, because I never want to be without this product again. And I also have another SPF on my um, cart because I was on the hunt for SPF that didn't have a white cast. Although the Skin Script SPF doesn't have a white cast, um, it's just some people can tolerate an SPF that also has a moisturizer in there. Um, so this SPF um, is an SPF 50 by Supergoop. I guess it's good I filmed this video because now I'm like organizing it as I go. But um, so this top row is mainly my uh, cleansers, toners, facial mist, um, exfoliants that aren't chemical peels and serums moisturizers stuff like that and now down to the second row of products and this is where i have my chemical peels my mask um, some serums and just products that i don't grab for a lot like their special occasion type of products. So that's this shelf. So the first product is this Goji Berry Yogurt Mask. Just a great hydrating, moisturizing mask. And then I have some Sublime Sulfur. And then I have a Charcoal Refining Mask. and. This is by Skinscript, and this is great for um, men's facials, uh, those with acne, oily skin, because the kaolin clay helps to draw the oil and impurities. I have the Marble Berry, Marble Berry Nourishing Mask by Skinscript. It's like an air freshener that you smell in a bathroom or something. It's weird, but it still smells good. So if I have a mask that doesn't have like an amazing smell, I might mix that mask in with it. And I'm pretty sure that's limited edition. It comes out seasonally or something like that. And then I have the vanilla clove hydrating mask. This one smells all right. I thought it was gonna have more of a vanilla smell, but it doesn't. But nice hydrating mask. And then my favorite is an ultra hydrating enzyme mask. Love, love, love this mask. Uh, helps to hydrate the skin. Yeah, that mask, you have to try it because it's great. Then I have the Clear Cell Medicated Acne Mask. And I, most, I mostly use this to spot treat. Um, so I might use a different mask somewhere else and then I lay this in certain areas one because it does have beads in there and the cleanup is horrible but yeah I definitely enjoy this mask whenever I have someone with breakouts or they have acne even underneath like a hydrogelly mask and then you lay the mask hydrogelly mask right on top of it some alcohol Then I have some of the pre-extraction emulsion. I'm still trying to figure out if how I feel about this product. Um, I mostly got this because I realized I was running low on the Oxygen Deep Pore Cleanser. But I don't know. I'm still trying to fill this out and figure out how I like it. I definitely don't care for the smell. But yeah, it smells very chemically. And I'm just always worried my clients are going to be like, ew, what is this? Oh, another mask and this is the oil control mask I really don't use this as much as I thought I would um, it's a nice pretty color um, but I don't use this as much because a lot of people they do say they have oily skin but they come in here and their skin is like stripped so it's like I'm not about to pull whatever is left outside out of your skin um, so yeah if I do use this I mix it with something else but yeah then I have the anti-aging exfoliant mask by um, Glamour Plus and um, this smells like licorice so I always mix this with something else. This does have some beads in there. Of course it says exfoliant mask. Then I have the super protein facelift mask. I feel like this is supposed to be similar 
to like the DMK mask maybe um, because it does like harden on the skin and everything like that. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to keep this in my collection because if whenever I do have like someone who's concerned about aging, anti-aging type of things, I do want to have this mask readily available. Oh, oxygen power booster, going to keep this in my collection. I was actually looking for this earlier, so I'm kind of upset, but I only have a little bit left in here. I need to order more, but love, love, love the oxygen power booster. If you haven't tried it already, definitely give it a try. So now I'm going to talk about the products that I don't grab that much or f they're more for the like special circumstances type of things. So first are these SD Max serums. So I have the vitamin C cure serum, the peptide cure serum, and then the hydro cure serum. And yeah, these I don't really reach for that much. Um, there are times when I use them, but yeah, so they're on the second shelf towards the back because they aren't like my most, uh, the most used product. Then I have the Vital C Hydrating Facial Oil. I actually really love this, so I need to order more probably in like a bigger side. I don't know why I put this on the second shelf actually now that I'm thinking about it. I think maybe because at night maybe I'd use it. I don't know, but I really love this oil, so gotta get more. Then I have the CBD 500 Miracle Massage Cream. I don't really use this. Um, I don't massage or anything. I've stepped away from the fluffy massaging type of facials, but just in case I get like a back facial client or whatever the case may be, then I'll use this. But um, this does have like a weird smell to it. I think people describe it as vapor rubby. I don't know, but I'm not really a fan of the smell of it. But definitely for facial, back facials, I want to keep this on hand. The CBD Power Bomb. I actually really love this Power Bomb. Um, people who have um, spots of like patches of texture, of dryness, I like to use this on. Or even um, I use it as the same purpose as I would this facial oil and I'll use it at the end of the service if they com come in at night and just to help seal everything in. Then I have some Glymed serums, uh, the Daily Lift Serum and the Daily Smoothing Peel. So these I like to use during microneedling. And then I have the Ageless Total Retinol A Cream and I grab this if I wanna like boost somebody's results. I love this cream for that. And now we are down to the last bit. Um, so these are chemical peels. My camera cut off on me, but um, this peel is the cranberry turnover peel. And this is what I like to use during acne peels. Well, one of the peels that I like to use during acne peels. I have the Skin Script 20% Lactic Lightning Peel, Great Brightening Peel. And then I have the Image Skincare Degreasing Prep Solution, which I don't really care much for, so won't be keeping that. Well, once I run out, I won't care to grab any more of that. Then I have the Oxy Oxygen Skin Regenerative Pill by Glymed. Love, love, love this pill. I will always repurchase, just repurchase, and will continue to repurchase this. The AHA Pre-Treatment Solution, and that's by Glymed. The Lactic Action Pre-Treatment Solution. Then the Lactic Action 50 Exfoliator. Then I have more Glymed, the Fiberry the Fiberry Pigment Control Peel, um, Perfection Lift by Image, the Lightning Lift Peel by Image. You will notice there's a lot of products that say Lightning because my clientele is mostly hyperpigmentation clients and acne clients. And then I have the TCA pill by Glymed and a retinol enhancer by Image um, just to help boost results and everything like that. So I think I will tell you what hydrogelly mask I have. Um, 
I can't even show you all of them because I'm actually using two of them as a prop for my phone so my phone is sitting right on top of it so hydro jelly mask um, some of my treatments they do come with the hydro jelly mask and some you would have to add them on for an upcharge so I have some Estee Max peels and the first one this one smells really good it's the youthful elixir it's the truffle on 24 karat gold hydro jelly mask really like this one it smells like cake but yeah it's very pretty gold love that and then I have the super green strength and I did not expect this hydro jelly mask to smell like this it smells very good for it to be super green strength I was expecting to smell like grass or something then I have the spot diminishing ALA it's, um so it has blue LED light in there supposedly but um yeah then I have the hyaluronic acid SD Max and this one smells so good I love 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 this one and then I have the intensive aftercare one which I use for those clients that turn red I mean all of these are good for those clients that might turn red or something but um definitely like this one intensive aftercare and these other hydro jelly masks are from michael taylor skin and the first one that i have which is popping up my camera is the super fruit one which um has like a kiwi on the front and everything then i have watermelon sugar that smells very good and then I have REM and this one smells more like lavendery and just look at this bottle I just love it it's cute um, so I do have these up front on display and then I have rosé and then I have thirst trap that is all that I have for you in today's video if you enjoyed this video definitely give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and definitely look at my previous videos but um yeah this isn't everything that I usually have on my back bar but I do plan on already making a more updated version of this video in the future I will see you in my next one